we are taking chapter number 5 which is acids bases and salts so question and answers on acids bases and salts we are taking first is state difference between acids and bases so what are the difference first is acids if you taste little bit it is sour and bases are bitter in the litmus solution when added to litmus solution the acid it turns red while the bases turns it blue the acidic for example the acids curd it has acidic uh, nature lemon juice vinegar these are all acidic then the bases are baking soda soap and lime water Ammonia is found in many household products such as window cleaners. So it turns red litmus into blue. What is its nature? The answer is basis turns the red to blue. So the nature of ammonia is what? Is basic. Name the source from which litmus solution is obtained and what is the use of this solution? So this is, as you see, it's a kind of plant lichens. So lichens, litmus is extracted from these lichens. So it has a purple color, mauve to be very precise, purple color in distilled water. So when added to the acidic solution, it turns red. And when added to basic solution, it turns blue. So in order to test whether the content or a solution is acidic or basic, we use this litmus test. Is the distilled water acidic, basic, neutral? How would you verify it? The way is using the litmus test. So distilled water is neutral by nature. We can usually, usually do it using the litmus test. So water does not change the color of either the red or blue litmus. That is why these, this is distilled water is neutral by nature. Next is describe the process of neutralization with help of an example. Neutralization means if there is an acid, you put a base, it will be neutralized. If a base, you put an acid, the base will be neutralized. So when an acid solution and a basic solution is mixed in certain proper suitable amount, both the acidic nature of the acid and the basic nature of the base are destroyed. So the resulting solution is neither acidic nor basic and it becomes neutral. So this is the neutralization. This process is known as neutralization reaction. What you can do here is you can just uh, take a test tube, fill one, fill one fourth of the test tube with uh, dilute HCl, hydrochloric acid, and you can add few drop of litmus solution. Now the color of the solution becomes red. Now you can add the acidic solution drops of, uh, add to this, this acidic solution, you can add NaOH that is uh, sodium hydroxide solution, gradually one, one drop by one drop by the dropper. Now just stir the tube gently. You can continue adding the sodium hydroxide solution drop by drop by the dropper while stirring it also means moving it around till the color just become green. And now the effect of HCl is neutralized by the base sodium hydroxide. So sodium hydroxide and HCl they are neutralized and they give, give rise to a color which is green and this green is an indication that they are neutralized. We have to say true or false. Nitric acid turn red litmus to blue. This is false. Sodium hydroxide turns blue litmus to red. This is again false. You know, it is other way around. Sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid neutralize each other and form salt and water. We have just seen in the previous question. It becomes green color. So, ex actually, the sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid, they neutralize each other to form salt and water. Next is indicator is a substance which shows different colors in acidic and basic solution. This is also true. Tooth decay is caused by the presence of a base and this is false because tooth decay is caused by the presence of base. No, not base but acid. Acid. If you, uh, you know, take a lot of acids and if you, the acid resides in your uh, teeth for a long time, it can decay the tooth. Dorji has few bottles of soft drink in his restaurant. 
but unfortunately these are not labeled he has to serve the drinks on the demand of customers one customer wants acidic drink another wants basic and third one wants neutral drink how will dorji decide which drink to be served to whom now it is not label so the thing is he can use the litmus test so dorji can use litmus test on these drinks so just uh, drop few drops of drink on litmus paper and take the decision accordingly like this if the the thing turns to blue the drink is basic if the drink or the, the content turns to red the drink is acidic if it turns to green then the drink is neutral explain why the antacid tablet is taken when you suffer from acidity acidity means you know our our stomach has a lot of hcl so due to release of excess of hydrochloric acid we suffer from acidity an antacid table tablet or antacid antacid uh, you can say syrup consists of a base like milk of magnesia like magnesium hydroxide so it neutralizes the effect of excessive acid and brings the relief from the acidity calamine solution is applied on the skin where an ant bite so what happens when ant bite the sting of an ant contain the formic acid which is actually causing the causing the irritation of the skin so this calamine solution it contains zinc carbonate which is the base so calamine solution neutralizes the acid effect which is caused by the sting of an ant and then when we apply this there there is uh, uh, you can say the problem is the suffering can be avoided factory waste is neutralized before disposing it with the water bodies what happens most of the factory waste are acids so if they go directly if you if you send them directly to the rivers or you know aquatic or water the aquatic organisms may be living or plants or uh, other things non living also so they are affected by these acids and they may die they may have a uh, very hostile uh, effect so the factory wastes they are they are first neutralized by adding basic substance th so that it doesn't uh, kill or affect the aquatic flora and fauna three liquids are given to you one is hcl hydrochloric acid other is sodium hydroxide third is sugar sugar solution uh, how will you identify them you have only turmeric indicator so turmeric is what it is yellow in color you have might, you might have seen turmeric you we generally eat it so when a base is added to it the solution turns into pink color but the turmeric remains yellow when an acid or neutral solution is added to it so what we can do we can perform these steps to identify the solution is whether it is base acid or neutral we can take few drops of each solution and test it with the turmeric solution as given in the question if the solution turns into pink color that solution is base that is sodium hydroxide we can mark the beaker containing the solution containing the solution as base now take the test tube and add few drops of base solution in second uh, the second solution check if the test tube becomes warmer why it is becoming warmer if we added the turmeric solution to it the color does not change it means the solution added is acidic the test tube has become warmer because of neutralization now these two things are done so by on the basis of this if the test tube of the above solution does not uh, warm or it does not show pink color when the turmeric is added the second solution is of course neutral blue litmus paper is dipped into water it remains blue what is the nature of the solution explain if the blue litmus paper when it is dipped in, into the solution it remains blue so it doesn't change from blue to red that means the solution is either basic or neutral otherwise it would have been acidic now consider this statement just read them very carefully we have to choose the correct statement let me choose it for you the answer is d change of color in an acid and base depends on the type of indicator so this is the correct answer so these were few question and answer on acid bases and salts take care of yourself bye bye